Do we have some exciting news that we want to share with our friends? Do you even care? <laughs> so, today marks one year of pressing the panda button existing. Good morning, world. Good morning, internet friends. Good morning, everybody. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Anxiety when sleep is not your friend. We've been adding on to the list all day today. Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we, sassy? Do we have some exciting news that we want to share with our friends? Do you even care? <laughs> so, today marks one year of pressing the panda button existing. One year of vlogging, guys. Woo! That is just incredible. I planned on making a video. I'm making some kind of special video or doing something really cool for the first anniversary of pressing the painted button. And then I ended up just not, because I'm like, you know, I don't know, I just couldn't come up with anything. And honestly, I don't know, I just didn't. It's just another day, but this has been a wonderful journey. And of course, I'm still going to continue this journey. Um, just thinking back to the first few vlogs that I had, and thinking back over this entire year, I've realized that at this point today, what do I remember? I had been newly diagnosed with generalized anxiety, major depressive disorder, and panic disorder. Because I'd only been diagnosed for about a month. Though I had had those for a long time. Um, on this day, I was still in the process of a service dog. I was going to go through Wilderwood. I think it was Wilderwood. Yes. I was going to go through Wilderwood for a service dog. Which would have been fine until I had to raise $14,000 in three months. Which is impossible. Um... And I think around this time, I just started watching The Fry Life and was inspired to start vlogging about what it's like living with a mental illness, or actually three of them in this case. Because I wanted to help people. I wanted people... I wanted to... For anyone else who suffers with mental illness, I wanted to um, make you feel like you're not alone. That you have... There are people out there who feel a lot like you do, or maybe not completely, but have an idea of what you're going through. Even though it's just between a screen, that, you know, I'm here for you. I know what it's like. Or I may somewhat know what it's like. I don't know, you could be suffering from something completely different that I don't know about. But whatever it is, we can do this together. Yeah? Yeah, high five. And then, I also was thinking around the same time that, you know, there's a huge stigma on mental illness, as we all know. The main ones I always hear about is that we're unstable, like everybody. Because, I mean, we all have our moments of instability, but we're not constantly unstable. Um, that we're just crazy loons that need to be locked up in a hospital with a straitjacket. And we don't, we can't function in society. So I wanted to show that, you know, what life is like with someone with a mental illness. That we, we live normal lives. Like, you guys have seen basically right now a year into my life. Minus the week of a break for my mental health and then the two or three days that my computer decided to hate me. Um, I mean, you've seen this year into my life. I, you know, I went to college. I graduated college. I have friends. I worked. I worked over the summer as a, as a camp counselor. I have hobbies. 
I love, I'm passionate about dogs, even though my dog is not caring right now. <laughs> There's so many things just, you know, like, hey, I am a person, I live a life, I just happen to have these disorders. And I know through this year, you guys have seen panic attacks, you've seen um, depressive episodes, you have seen me vocalizing the thoughts that are going through my head. And I mean, I couldn't share every single one because sometimes I don't even know what they are. But it's like, you know, I do suffer with these. These are a thing. But just because I suffer with them doesn't mean that I ultimately define myself as my disorders. Instead, I use them to help other people. To show, like, you know, people with mental illness do live normal lives. And, you know, even if hospitalization has to happen, you know, that's not a big deal. Like, people have to be hospitalized for physical illnesses and injuries and all that all the time. So, why should being hospitalized for a mental illness be any different? So, yeah, that was a lot of rambling, but <laughs> that's just kind of the thoughts that I've had about this past year of vlogging. And I want to thank each and every one of you. Thank you so, so much for joining me on this journey. Thank you for your wonderful comments. I loved hearing about you guys and about your stories. And just, you're all great. Ready? Internet hug. One, two, three. Go! Internet hug! Internet hug! Yay! Hi, Sassy. <laughs> and you're back to not caring. So, now I am going to get ready and go feed Sadie and Gabby. And I will check back in with you guys later. Hey guys! Hi Amarelle! What are you doing? Okay, bye! See, I'm gonna go take a nap in my nap corner. Ooh, let me go show you guys something that came in the mail today! Woohoo! Somebody got his vest today! It makes me so happy! I got this from Amazon. I'll put a link down below where I got it from in a little bit. The best thing I liked was that it has this in training. This is made for like smaller dogs. But since he's a puppy, I want to get him used to the vest. Now this normally will say service dog. I've seen where people got therapy dog patches and ESA patches. All you have to do is contact the seller and just ask for a different patch. So I asked for the in training and they were able to do it. So awesome. This is about like 35. Which, I don't know if that's a whole lot of money for a vest or what. It probably is, but especially since he will outgrow it pretty fast. This is the 18 to 21 inch girth. Because his girth was 17.5. Um, the largest they have is 21 to 24. Which I probably should have gotten that for him. But this was even big at its longest, so that probably wouldn't have worked out. But look at it, it's so awesome! And I'm so happy for my baby boy. So, yeah. He and I did a little bit of focus training today. There he is. Sleep. So cute. He and I worked a little bit more on focus training. He did a little bit better. But, I mean, it's still something we got to work on. And, yeah, that's about how the day's been right now, so... So I want to check in with you guys and show you his awesome vest, and I'll check back in with you later. Hi. Hey guys, so look who I have. Hello. Eli. So I was telling him earlier how this has been a year of vlogging. Congratulations. Why, thank you. It's have... been one year of documenting your mental illness. <laughs> <laughs> so... What do you think about this vlog journey? Because I know you've seen a couple of them and I've seen, I have forced you in them. I have. You didn't force me into anything. I've seen more than a couple. By the way, thank you for the shout out in that one of those You've videos. been shouted out twice, actually. Oh, I know. But the one you did recently. Oh. Well, I don't worse. remember which one that is. It was but the one great. where you adjusted the text message I sent you. Instead of saying, it's not your problem, 
Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Was, I think they're great, and I like watching them. And we'd, I live two and a half hours, three hours away going to school, and I can't always talk to you, so I get to watch these videos. And see all the stupid things I do. Yeah, it's kind of like I have a conversation with you a little bit, except you're doing all the talking. And yeah. I can, and I can like, That's usually what I do anyway. And I can pause you anytime. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I'm going to kill you now. Uh, my favorite videos are the one you did, uh, Not My Problem, uh, uh -huh. my interview you did, Living With uh, Depression and What That's Like, and then I think my favorite of all is when we were at to like depression. And yes, anxiety. that's actually I think one of my top videos yeah. is the mental illness simulator. That's it. That's what it was called. Yes, I loved it. yes. Loved it. Hey guys. Hi, Emeril. Hi, Riddler. Hi, Sassy. So, Eli and I had an awesome time. Um, I may just put a clip of our game onto this vlog and then make the rest of the game an entire video of its own because I think each session was about three minutes long and there's a total of four so that would at make 12 more minutes to this video and it's already going to be pretty long enough as is. Amarel, leave it! Amarel, leave it! Yes, good boy! Such a good boy! Yes! Ow, I just hit my toe. Um, it's always fun hanging out with him. And now, bedtime routine has happened. Essential oils, contacts out, medicine taken, dog's teeth brushed, so about to go to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is, what are the names of your best friends? Mine would be Lakota, Eli, Jordan, Ariel, and Destiny. So put your answers down below, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night! Uh, 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 leave it! Leave it! Good night, little rotten child. Good night, sassy girl!